Good morning, everybody. Um, as you can see, yeah, it's 4.35 in the morning here. So um, I was actually working on another tutorial that I wanted to post today. And at the beginning of that tutorial, I was like, well, let me do a quick introduction to my website. Um, and that quick introduction kind of turned into a fairly uh, lengthy introduction. So um, I wanted to go ahead and break that out into a separate video. So what I've done uh, here is I've, I've launched a website. The URL is uh, I need VoIP dot support. Um, and the idea you know, that I have behind this website is, is basically to organize the content that I'm generating and also to solicit some feedback from, uh, from you guys, my, my audience, to determine what kind of uh, videos you would find most valuable. So just real quick summary of, uh, of the site. One, you'll start to see um, this logo pop up on my videos. And that's, you know, that'll indicate that, that that's my content. And if you like my content, then you might want to look for those as you're browsing, uh, you know, through the internet or through YouTube, uh, looking for videos and look for the ones with this logo on the front. I would appreciate that. And uh, so furthermore, um, I've tried to break the website down into a uh into a uh, i guess an easy way for a new technician to sit down and say where do i need to start you know i want to learn all about uh voice over ip or telecom and where should i start so you know i've got uh this this section here it's it's free voip training um, obviously you you see some of the ads at the beginning of of the training so that's uh you know where um i get uh you know the the, uh, I guess, funding to continue doing training videos. Uh, and, you know, I, I hope to expand this channel and expand uh, the content and, uh, you know, you guys continuing to view the videos is, will help me uh, do that. So uh, so the content will always be free to you guys, and uh, yeah, that's my goal. So I don't plan to start a subscription service or anything anytime in the near future. Uh, so the next thing is, uh, you know, on the front side, if you're a rookie in telecom, uh, you may want to break this down. Uh, these, most of these videos are actually other videos that I've found to be useful uh, on YouTube uh, that I would use to train my own guys, uh, just to kind of give them a general overview of telecom and what's happening. Then the veteran uh, category is are more of my videos and. These are going to go more into uh, packet analysis and how to capture packets and uh, you know how to do some uh, more advanced troubleshooting. So if you're just starting out in the industry, eventually I'll, I'll generate my own rookie videos, but for now I've referenced uh, some other videos that I found uh, uh, on YouTube that I thought uh, were really well done. So, And then... Finally, uh, you know, I want to solicit your request to see what you find uh, interesting in, in regards to, you know, I guess, why are you here is, is the question I have is, uh, you know, I've put out a variety of videos. Uh, looks like the majority of you are, are following my Wireshark videos. So, uh, you know, my question is uh, to you guys is, are you following Wireshark for IT purposes? Or are you following Wireshark for telecom purposes? Uh, and just let me know more about, uh, about you guys and, and what kind of business you're in. And the way you could go about doing that is if you go over to the tech talk section of my website, um, uh, here you'll, I'll tell you a little bit about me and why I'm here and how I got here. Uh, um, and but here I've asked you know since I'm you know, wanting to put videos together that you guys find useful, um, you know I'd like to hear hear your comments. And if you click on the comments here, um, then it'll give you an opportunity to fill out a comment and and post that to the website. And you know I'd like to ultimately see maybe a, a chat board going here to where I see you guys doing it on my videos. Um, you know, somebody will ask a question and somebody else will provide a response. And I really like, uh, really like that dialogue going back and forth. So uh, I'm trying to create a forum to, to make that a little easier. 
All right. So moving on, uh, going into video tutorials, I've got uh, my videos and other helpful videos. I broke it down into two sections. That may change in the future uh, to make it a little easier so you guys can see what my videos actually are and what other helpful videos are. Uh, but for now, if you click on my videos, this is content that I've originally created myself. And other helpful videos are videos that I found around YouTube that I thought were, were really helpful. Uh, so just going into my videos, uh, these are, and you'll start to see this logo pop up as I as I mentioned before, and that's how you'll be able to tell. I've still got to do some uh, some thumbnails for my other videos, but when you see the you know this logo popping up, then you'll know that that's my content and uh, it might be worthwhile to check out. Uh, so Wireshark, I'm trying to do a variety of, of videos, uh, capture packets. I did an introduction uh, to Wireshark. This goes over, uh, most of you have seen this, uh, but this will go over the entire uh, Wireshark environment. And uh, so these are some different concepts that I've uh, had to learn over over the years, which is, you know, troubleshooting one-way audio or choppy audio or uh, listening to uh, G729 calls because Wireshark doesn't have a native uh, player that'll play G729. It'll only play G711. So there's a video that shows you how to do that. Capturing packets, you'd be amazed. Uh, how many calls you know we get where uh, you know we just need to explain the difference between um, how to capture packets you know with either port mirroring or with a with a hub uh, and explaining you know that a, that a unmanaged switch uh, is not going to be able to capture those packets if you're trying to capture packets that aren't going to and from your computer. Um, so so there's a little explanation video on that. Some other helpful videos that I've done and I'm going to try to break out are, are SIP videos. I really want to do a lot more of those uh, probably coming in the near future. And uh, this one, uh, troubleshooting email videos, was a video that I put together for uh, uh, telecom devices that need to email relay. Uh, so within this uh, description of this video on YouTube, I put a, a Google server, and if you have a Gmail address, you can use it to test any uh, telephone system that has an internet connection and is capable of relaying email. Uh, I use this day in and day out to, to prove to technicians that our product is doing what it needs to do. Um, however, we need to look at you know your email settings or connectivity, uh, something along those lines because because uh, this server and, and this tutorial that I use will work 100% of the time every time uh, in almost any environment uh, but sometimes when you're trying to use the customer's uh, email server to relay off of it's not working so this will kind of give you some troubleshooting steps on how to troubleshoot that and then the other uh, this video I just did uh, I, I had to do it for myself, so I figured I'd capture it. Um, but basically, I did want to run a cable to my kitchen island uh, for my IP phone here. And uh, so I figured out how to bridge uh, my wireless port with my LAN port. And then I can use that IP phone uh, off the Ethernet port. And then this computer here is connected wirelessly uh, back to my wireless router. So, so anyway, so those are some of my videos. And then the other helpful uh, video section is introduction to telecom. And these videos are uh, some videos, mostly Eli the computer guy. Uh, I really liked uh, his content. And then this one was one that I found on uh, YouTube as well that is uh, a good background to telecommunications industry. And... Uh, it really runs all the way up, you know, from uh, you know from the old uh, Alexander Graham Bell days all the way into uh, the voice over IP world and kind of the uh, you know the evolution of of technology from then till now. Uh, and I, you know, sitting back being in the industry for uh, you know f uh, fifteen years uh, now or fifteen plus years. Yeah, I found it a real useful industry or f real useful video because I've been there, you know, for for the for the last part of the video, obviously not the first part, but it was good to see where, 
you know, where we've, where the industry's come from and, and where we are today. So, uh, if you've got 43 minutes, you know, put that on your TV, sit back and watch and it's, it's a good video. And then these three videos are, are really good for if you've got a, if you've hired a new technician and you really want to, you know, they've got that technical ability, uh, but they've never really been in telecom before. Uh, so Eli did a, a real good job of going through and doing an introduction uh, to different concepts. So this is uh, call routing, uh, telephone systems, and voice over IP. So these are real good fundamental videos uh, before you start jumping into uh, to some of my videos, which are a little more advanced. Uh, and then about this site just gives uh, you know my explanation of why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, and then the artwork that I chose is, is kind of, uh, the YouTube piece of what I like to do. So, uh, you know, this channel and these videos are coming to life because one, I, I really like the content that's on YouTube. Uh, it, you'll see I referenced here, you know, I don't have any mechanical ability, but I was able to fix my wife's, uh, Jeep just based on, uh, watching a YouTube video and it, it, it was, you know, the shop gave us a quote of like 500 bucks and I went and bought the part from AutoZone, watched a YouTube video and put it in for, you know, 20 bucks. And I think that type of content being available to, uh, to the average person is, is just, uh, great. So you don't have to rely on other people, um, to, to do all the work all the time when it's something you can do yourself. So, uh, I really buy into to that concept and to the whole theory behind YouTube and, and technical uh, training videos. Uh, and if you if you find somebody that uh, you know if you don't get it the way it's taught at work, uh, then you might be able to find five other people on YouTube, and maybe one of those people you will identify with and really uh, grasp the way they teach that particular concept. Uh, so, I mean, that that to me has been a huge benefit uh, over the last few years in, in this industry because everything moves so fast. And if I can't get somebody to explain it to me the way I understand, chances are there's three or four other people on YouTube that are explaining the same concept. And maybe one of those people I'll identify with and be like, aha, now I get it. Uh, so it's a really great tool. And, and so... The kind of the, the stage set here is, is you know, my, my direction of, of wanting to produce uh, content uh, for the telecom industry because, frankly, I don't see a whole lot of it out there, uh, and I know there's a need for it. So that's my role. Uh, this is my site, and like I said, guys, uh, leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you think of, of the content I'm producing. What would you like to see? Uh, anything you can tell me about your experience in the industry. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying uh, to build a network of, of telecom uh, professionals and uh, so that we can all help each other to uh, keep up with the technology. Anyway, uh, thanks for your time. And like I said, this is uh, just an introduction about the website. I'm getting ready to put up another video that you should see this morning as well, uh, which goes into a, a, another tool that I use called Ping Plotter. So uh, check that video out as well. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel so that when I do publish new videos, you get an update to, to let you know to come check them out. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.